the Relight AI in Luminar Neo is one of the most amazing tools in this application. With just a few sliders, you can adjust the brightness as well as warmth of foreground and background using a specially created 3D mask. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this tool. OK, OK, Relight AI. Well, let's move into Luminar Neo, where we starting in the catalog module. For today's tutorial, we're going to be using two sample files. And just as always, if you want to follow me along, jump into the description of this video, follow the link, download the files, import them into Luminar Neo and we can start. Now to start with, let's select the image from the beautiful Isle of Skye in Scotland and let's move it into edit module. Now click on the edit or use E on your keyboard and let's look for the Relight AI. Now to find it, we need to go into our main editing toolbar into the creative section and there one to no <laughs> on the top, the Relight AI. Okay. To open it, well, just like any other tool in Luminar Neo, you click and it will open. Now let's make it nice and visible. And before we start, let's ask our friend Lumibot to tell us more about this tool. Thank you, Jakob. And hello, everyone. Let's explore Relight AI, one of the smartest lighting tools in Luminar Neo. What makes it special? It analyzes your photo in 3D space allowing light to fall naturally across the scene. That means you can brighten the foreground, darken the background, and control how the light transitions between the two, all without affecting the realism. It's perfect for fixing tricky lighting in backlit portraits, adding depth to landscapes, or giving flat images a dramatic pop. So, whether you're correcting exposure or just getting creative, Relight AI gives you full control over your lighting. Need help anytime? I'm always available at cleverphotographer.com slash Lumibot. And now, Jakub will guide you through each setting step by step. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, it's time to look at the tool and all of its controllers. So let's open everything, including the advanced settings and start nicely from the top. So we have it. Brightness near, obviously, near to the camera. Brightness far, far from the camera. Then we have a depth adjustment or depth slider. And in the advanced settings, we have an option to adjust the halo or basically the halo, <laughs> the image, or this look. And we can also adjust the warmth, again, near to the camera, or warmth far of the camera. Now, how it works? Well, let me show you how I always start. First thing I do, I take the brightness near and bring it all the way up. And I take the brightness far and bring it all the way down. Now it looks terrible, right? But by doing that, I can clearly see where at this moment the application think that is the far because it's dark and where is the near because it's bright. Now we're going to adjust this. But before we do that, we should look at our depth because this is where we can now adjust the location of our, well, breaking point between the near and far. By default, it's on 50. So it's gonna try to put it in the middle of your image, but when we take it and bring it up, you will notice that our near, the near area, which at this moment is bright, is going away from us. So all the way, all the way, almost towards the entire image. So all the way to the back. Now, when we go the other way around, let's reset it. Now you can reset any slider in Luminar Neo by double clicking on it. When we go the other way around, you will notice that the area of the far is coming close to us, closer, 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 until it pretty much covers the entire photo. Now the depth on zero will not cover the entire image. There will still be a little bit of brighter or near area at the beginning, but it can go quite far. So what we want to do. So depth, I'm thinking somewhere around here. I would just like to bring a light into this little part of the valley. <laughs> now, of course, that the brightness near and far is way too much. So let's reset both of the sliders and let's make the 
far of the background a little bit darker. Just bring the slider down. Let's start with minus 10. I think that's a good idea. Now we can adjust the brightness near. So let's do that. And when we increase it, you can see how we're getting beautiful streak of light here. Cool, right? Now, just very quickly how it works. When we activate these sliders, the application basically create a 3D map on the image. And that's why we can adjust the depth. So it kind of go through the landscape. Anyway, I think this brightness near is okay for now. We can maybe make the background a little bit darker by bringing it even lower. So where am I? Uh, 50 on our brightness near, minus 13 on brightness far, 42 on depth. And with that, it's time to look at our advanced settings. Now, depending on your image, depending on the subject, depending on the original contrast between the dark parts and bright parts, and also on the quality of the photo, sometimes this effect may create halos. Now you can see them a little bit around this old man of store here. And sometimes you can fix that using the dehalo slider. So when we bring it up, it should improve. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes not. Sometimes you simply need to just readjust the darkness of the background to remove this, but try the dehalo and see if it's going to work. After this, it's time to work with the warm sliders. Now, by now you get the idea of the near and far. So what we want to do, we want to make this part warmer. So near, warmed up, yeah, nice, bright and warm. Let's go crazy. We can even increase the brightness here to something like this. And we can make the background a little bit cooler. So how we do that? Very simple, warmth, far, just bring it down. Well, not too much, maybe just somewhere around here. If we want, we can make the background or the far area a little bit darker again just something like this and create a really nice contrast there. Maybe a little more warmth here and maybe a little more brightness here. Now, one more time, we can also adjust the depth. You can still see how it kind of moves around. We can apply it somewhere around here and that's that. So once you use the tool, we have some options on the top. We can have a look at the before and after. And of course that we can also reset the tool using this little arrow here, just like that. Finally, little eye icon, when you click on that, it will give you some additional information about the tool. So that's it when it comes to this tool and landscape. Now, of course, that you can use the masking and any of the options here, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, color, luminosity, mask AI, object select AI, and so on. But for me, this is more than enough. Now, I have one more example. You have seen it earlier, and that's this lady. Now, I'm not sure when you're watching this tutorial, but here in UK right now, it's nice and glowy autumn. So we're going to use this portrait here because the Realite AI can work really well with portrait. Let's test it. So into the Realite AI we go. Let's make it nice and visible here again, and brightness near up and brightness far down. So you know what to do. After this, we're going to adjust the depth. So down, we bringing the darkness forward, up, we bring in further. But we actually do want mostly select just the model. I'm thinking probably around 31 for the time being. Now reset our sliders, too much. And first thing, we want to make the background a little bit darker. So brightness far, down. Not too much, I think probably somewhere around yeah, minus 20. After this, just like with our first example, brightness near, let's increase it and add a little bit of extra brightness to the entire subject here in the foreground. Additionally, again, you can apply some of the dehalo if you have any artifacts that needs to be adjusted. And of course, we have the warmth near. So I think actually looking at her, there is lots of warmth on her anyway. We don't have to adjust that. So what we can do, we can just make the background a little bit cooler to create more contrast and actually Let's bring some of the warmth back. Now, maybe a little bit extra brightness in the foreground. Well, this is too much. And final check with the depth. Do we need to adjust it? Mm, probably maybe just a little down to somewhere around 90. Double check again before and after. And there you have it. <laughs> so this is how you use the Relight AI. Very simple, creates a 3D mask, which you can then adjust using the depth 
slider you can move more far or near and you can adjust the brightness near and warmth near as well as the brightness far and warm far additionally if you have any halos or imperfections try the halo slider and see if it's going to help okay guys so there you have it this is how you use the real light ai tool now don't forget that we have updated videos for all the different tools in luminar neo available on our youtube channel at clever photographer so go there continue learning and keep moving forward on your photo editing journey